Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Justin from Jay's Itinerary and today I'm gonna talk to you about an itinerary in my country, Italy. It's an easy one, but really beautiful. I recommend it as your first visit in Italy. But first... This itinerary is planned to last nine days, from Saturday to Sunday. I did this with my husband as a holiday in 2016 and we left Padova by car. It's only five hours journey to Rome. So we already have the car to travel around the cities. I suggest you to rent a car at the airport if you fly to Italy. The car will be necessary for your journey from city to city. Once you arrive at your destination, just leave the car at the hotel car park. Remember to book an hotel with a free car park included and go for a walk to discover the city or use the local transport. From Saturday to Monday, enjoy three days in the Rome atmosphere. Walk among history and get lost in the magical allies. Uh, maybe you will find a restaurant or a cafe that is not for tourists. And not also you will say money, but you will try the best flavors on earth. Now, let's see what you can see during your stay in Rome. Third day, Tuesday, you will wave goodbye to Rome and move to Vico e Quince. It's a small town but really useful as starting point for your next days. It's close to Rome, three hours by car. So what you could do is spend most of the day in Naples. What you could do is walk all the Spacanapoli. It's a small road only for pedestrians and full of typical food, objects, and main crafts. And when you arrive at the top of it, you can admire whole Naples. What a view! Now, drive to Vico Quince. Hope you're getting hungry, because here there is the University of Pizza. It's where students learn how to make the real pizza. But it's also a restaurant, so get ready to eat the best pizza in Italy! As I said before, Vico Quince is a small town, so you don't need a car to see it all. There is just a main square and a staircase to go down to the beach. But this place is perfect for a base, because there is a train to go anywhere nearby, it's a special line only for tourists to go to the important sites, we use it, or you can rent a moped, or you can use the local buses. If you suffer from car sickness, well, don't use the bus. The streets are really winding and really tight and the drivers are fast like crazy because well it's their job so they are used to these roads if you want to see a lot of place during your vacation i suggest you to split the day in half like wednesday morning go for a walk to the city of sorrento and eat something in the local cafe and enjoy the city in the afternoon take the ferry to capri capri is an island divided in two parts the bigger one is uh, where you, you will arrive with your ferry. And uh, if you want to see the real Capri, you need to go to the top and uh, see the small Capri. You can do it with a taxi or with a bus. My advice is to take a walk in the city center where you can see the most fashionable and expensive boutique like Gucci, Armani, Prada. I can just look at it. And then go straight until you will find a terrace where you can see the famous Faraglione, admire a view of the sea, maybe while the sun is go down and will be really, really romantic. 
On the side of the terrace there is a staircase that go down to the Faraglioni, so you can see it more closely and take a wonderful picture of it. Thursday, in the morning you can go to see Pompeii and in the afternoon just relax on the beach while drinking a cocktail. All the beaches in the area are beautiful, so don't worry about where to go. Friday, I suggest you to spend the whole day in Positano, explore the unique village, sunbath at the beach, or rent a boat and explore the Amalfi Coast. Saturday, go to Amalfi. First, take a walk in the small town and then take the local bus and go up to Ravello. You can see the most famous view of the coast, but most importantly, if you love nature and gardening, you can visit the most incredible gardens like Villa Ruffolo and Villa Cimbrone, with all their statues around. Sunday, sadly, we arrive at the end of your vacation. You need to drive back home if you live in Italy or drive to Rome to catch your flight home. But before leaving this wonderful place, you can make a stop at the Vesuvio Vulcano. You can walk for free at the top of it. Remember, it's an active volcano, so you can see the puff of smoke and uh, walk around it, but it's really fascinating and suggestive. All right, guys, we are at the end of the video. If you like it, don't forget to put a thumbs up and subscribe to get updated about the next videos. And if you would like to see a specific itinerary or have more information about this one, just leave a comment below. Bye!